welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the LD only walkthrough. This is episode 24, 24 episodes already. Um, we've been waiting uh, to have some things to report before we did another episode. So obviously we've built Isabel. I think she was already built in the last video, uh, but we did build Diaz. Now he's on a crit damage build and that didn't work out so hot. Um, he doesn't have enough HP really for R5. So we're probably going to switch his runes up. And I was trying to build him where he could also be used in Siege. But uh, I don't. I couldn't really find like a good team for him with the, the people that I have. So uh, probably just not going to use him in Siege for now. I'll just make him real tanky for R5. R5 will be the next big push in terms of PvE content. I've been doing R4 for a while. I really want to get R5 stable. Just 6 star Fran. Uh, so she's going to be very important for Siege. I need multiple Frans, multiple Warrens, and multiple Isabels. Uh, I'm going to be playing, creating a lot of teams around them. It just takes a really long time to six star stuff. So, and uh, it takes a lot of fodder. So I haven't, like, no, oh, jeez. I swear we need to make this like the the lighthouse and I am speed channel because every time I do something I'm like oh this is so hard to do then lighthouse is like hey take a look at this so my god he's got some so he's got water totemist who's pretty good Praha Douglas Carlos Tashar Gurkha, oh, so jealous when he pulled Gurkha. I know he's not nearly as strong for the nerf, but he's still pretty cool. Um, Mephisto, Kali, Ophelia. I mean, that, God, how does he do that? I farm a decent amount. And I, I don't know how he gets that much fodder. Yeah, I do. I do one. Hey, I got Fran. And then, you, let's see, four, let's do eight, nine, nine, six stars. Anyway, I've been working on that. And I'm working on, I want to build Driller for Siege. I think I can find a spot for him. Um, so I'm working on getting him five star maxed. And then I'm still continuing to build fodder monsters into uh, Fusion. Monsters so that I can feed those for LD pieces. That's one of the reasons we have as many LD summons as we have is I've been uh, Fusing those and that does slow down making six stars. So that's part of my excuse for not being as cool as lighthouse Oh, and so the one other thing I've been doing is I have been working on two a skill ups and Gina is now fully skilled. So Gina's fully skilled Gorgo is he was the first one I did and it doesn't take much to skill him uh, and I also got a sheer fully skilled um, but everyone else you know all my two A's no skill ups it just takes forever to get skill ups uh, now I have been doing mystic witches because I did Gina and then I was like oh, I should just probably do Linda too but I can only do level three on uh, the Mystic Witch 2A dungeon because I can only have one light and one dark monster on the team. So I bring a Wind Witch with me and then I use Vero and Altair and, then, and they, can't do, they can't do level 4. So I need a better combo for level 4. If anyone can think of a better light and dark combo for the Mystic Witch 2A dungeon level 4 or 5, Feel free to put a comment down below and I'll see, I'll try out any suggestions that you guys make. And here, oh my god, here he goes again. Uh, Garo, two Garos. Well, Garo's really good for Siege, that makes a lot of sense. Mina's really good for Siege. Uh, Jolton is decent for Siege. Um, Darien's great, Darien's great for. R5. 
So we're currently finishing one more Mystic Witch just because we've started her. She's at 54%, but she only goes up like 0.7 or 0.8 per run. So it takes a while. Um, but then we're going to probably do... I'm guessing Shushu is probably next. He's, Shushu's skill-ups are really, really good. Extra damage, extra recovery, extra recovery twice, and then recovery here. And that, make, that makes Shushu a lot more valuable. Um, or I might... 2A the Dark Fairy, Soren first, and then start working on Shushu, because Soren is really powerful as a 2A, a really good damage dealer, especially for Siege. We have some potential here, so we have a Transcendent Scroll, so if we can get a dupe for one of the four or five Nat 5s we already own, or for the nine Nat 5s in the nine year anniversary event then we can get three more LB scrolls um, but we have 18 nine year special scrolls a legendary we have five light and darks and most of these pieces now I did spend about a thousand crystals on magic shop refreshes and I actually got two LG scrolls from that with like 1200 crystals it's really good the LD pieces were dropping a lot and then um the rest of the pieces came from feeding fusion monsters and from world boss and uh, a couple from chess, things like that. We've got 18 elementals, 40 mystics, and then we are gonna do the events going on for engraved scrolls right now. So we'll do that as well, but we'll do the engraved last so that we can try to pick a list that hopefully has a dupe nat five in it. We need assassin skill ups, a lot of those. So. Isabel is outstanding. I've been using her in RTA. I'll have a video out about that soon. Um, haven't quite hit C1, but she's helping. And then uh, using her in Siege as well. She's not a guaranteed win in Siege because she's a little squishy, but uh, against the right defense, it's pretty easy to win. So I'll be building two or three Isabel-led teams and uh, my first Isabel isn't even skilled up, so we need tons of assassins. And then we're looking for a dupe net five. And then hopefully a new LD toy out of five. Just uh come on, net five. Net five, the step. That's one more chance for a dupe, I guess. Uh, Water Weapon Master is new. I initially, I pulled Dominic last time. I thought maybe I'd just gotten another Dominic and we'd have a dupe. Um, but that didn't work. Hey, we got another Nat 5. You can't complain about that. Um, so let's see what we've got here. We're going to do the Legendary. Let's see what we get. Oh my god, getting so many good monsters on this account. Is she a dupe? Is she a dupe? Wait, was she? Was she in my Nat 5 event? Hold on. Ah, uh, no, she was not. Okay, so he now has the 2 aid Fire Fairy. Lighthouse has been putting in some serious work. Mm -hmm. Really only gotten that so far. Mm -hmm. But hey, two Nat 5s, not counting the Transcendence. So we get one more one more shot at, uh, with the Transcendence here. And first we're going to do the 9-year Special Scrolls. So maybe we'll get another Nat 5. Here it comes, another Nat 5. Yeah. Well, we're going to take Boomerang Warrior. Because what if we get a light and dark Boomerang Warrior? That would be amazing. Um, overall, can't complain about our luck. Two Nat 5s out of 
less than 100 scrolls. That's really nice. Uh, I got a four star, fake four. Um, and then we're going to do something a little different this time. We're actually going to do the transcendence now to see what nat five we get. And then um, we'll have an idea of here comes a nat five. Water Valkyrie. Um, I don't think she's in that list. Now, two water ones were the Put In Princess in the Macaroon Garden. So, also not a dupe. Oh, Fire Desert Queen. Cannon Girl Skillups. I might pick, because I need Cannon Girl Skillups. And then if we ever get Dark Robo, those would be really nice to have. I think we're going for this one. Yeah, Emily Skillops and hopefully we get Fire Desert Queen. Come on, let's see some, at least some Emily Skillops. If we pull the light or dark Rakasha, that would be fine too. Uh, so I need Skillops for her as well. Light, uh, light one actually just got a buff and might be pretty good. Around 60, I uh, 60, oh, lightning. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's what I was looking for. We are happy with that. Now can we get a nat 5 out of the last couple? No, that's a wind. Okay. Six more engraved summons. Let's see. Let's see how many we're getting from the event now. I don't think it's five yet. Oh, we got six. Okay, so we can do another ten pull. Um, there we go. Okay, one more ten pull. Oh, great lightning in this session. Can't complain at all. Uh, can we get one more lightning? Fire Desert Queen. Yeah, Chloe. Uh, one more lightning. Fire Desert Queen. Yeah, another Chloe. Uh, the light and dark Epicon priests are nothing to write home about, so that's not that's not really helpful. Um, okay. And I think that's it. Ooh, lightning. Could we get an F5? <laughs> This is insane luck. Five LDs, can we please get a new toy? Anything new would be fine. Anything new. Can we get a Shren? I've been waiting on Shren. That's a dupe. I have almost all the LD3s. I don't think there's much of anything. Shren. Oh, White Marshall Cat would be outstanding. Um, everyone else is garbage. Um, Jumaline would be great. Crow would be good, I think. Everyone else is garbage. So we're basically looking for four monsters. It's a tough call. Unless we get a lightning. Uh, Dark Mummy is garbage. Oh, I think we need Mara too. That's a light Amazon. It's good, but... Come on. Somebody new. Special Dungeon. Another light Amazon, and I'm pretty sure I don't have the dark one. Dupe light Amazons. Yeah, I still need Mara. Mara is awesome for killing Perna and Odin and other 
monsters that revive. You know, Water Mage. And I just can't get her. Well, we got a lot of Mat Fives. Um, none of them were dupes, but this increases the chance that we'll get dupes next time. Anyway, that's it for this sum, uh, video. Uh, we'll be back with uh, other videos where we're trying harder content very soon. Uh, appreciate you following along on the series. Uh, my LD Only has definitely been uh, the most popular series. And we would love to get a few more people to subscribe. Uh, we just hit uh, 300 subscribers not too long ago. We need to get on that road to 1,000 uh, to get the channel monetized so that I can have a little bit of funding to actually uh, improve the content from this channel. So anyway, I appreciate your support. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.